Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'd Fa'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Rabbi ishrah li sadri Wa yassir li amri Wahilu lukadatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Dear brothers and sisters, we will begin our session We are doing lesson number 8 We have already done it uh, the text of it, we were doing the exercises which are very interesting. I hope you will write everything, every exercise has to be written. And I don't mind, in fact, I encourage you to look into the Hello Tamarin solution and you can copy it. That's fine with me. But I want one thing for you to understand that when you write it down, when you copy it and write it down, try to understand uh, the sentence, the significance of verb and the use of the new rules that Dr. Abdurrahim is teaching us. It's very important. All these lessons are very interesting. Lesson number we are doing eight. Lesson number nine is a very long lesson, but very interesting. We will do it, inshallah, next week or maybe a little bit of this week. And I want you to go through it and understand the lesson number nine a little bit. Also, I'll be sending you, I'll be sending you uh, the DVD of lesson number nine only, only, dear brothers and sisters, I must admit something that while I'm explaining you these DVDs, they were recorded in, I think, 2006 or 2007. We had a Intensive course, Monday to Thursday, 9.30 to Zohar, non-stop, for over seven months. And these DVDs were recorded. I was not very confident of myself because I told myself that I'm still a novice a beginner, a newcomer, a rookie in the field of teaching Arabic. And so, you know, the, the job was just too huge, too enormous for me to do. But I did it with the mercy and grace of Allah because I consider myself as an insignificant particle of dust on the ground. I am very insignificant, a tiniest particle of dust, worthless. But it is the mercy of Allah. Whenever he wants somebody to do a job, he blesses with his mercy and uh, knowledge, which I was not sure about it. And we recorded it. And what happened at that time? I still wonder sometimes, I still wonder sometimes, because we made 48 DVDs and the duration of each DVD is more than four hours. And then, brothers and sisters, which is uh, over 200 hours of recording, but we did uh, editing of it. Not the way it is done now, but in a crude way, we did edit everything and removed some 
mistakes and here and there, my spelling or my talking. And now, Brother Yusuf Jamal, may Allah bless him and his family, he has further taken those 48 DVDs and made into uh, lesson wise lesson wise recording lesson wise recording which he has also uploaded on uh, YouTube so those lessons wise recording I myself listen to it and I recommend that you should listen to it and I will be sending you weekly one lesson so please take some time and listen to it you will like it that is my assurance to you you will like it you will not feel bored and uh, you will learn a lot so when you listen to the dvd and you come to the class you are really ready to absorb everything that I try to explain you according to our new Madina books. So it should become a very beautiful and easy job, huh? inshallah. Keep that in mind, my brothers and sisters. And now, there are some things that I would like you to memorize. Uh, memorize it. Huh? So we have already done this. We have already done this. <coughs> if you remember, this is what we did last time. A beautiful hadith. Al Muslimu man salim al Muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadihi. This is very beautiful. So beautiful are us, so beautiful it is that we should implement this in everyday life. Yeah. Who's Muslim according to uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The Muslim, the one who submits to the uh, wishes of Allah, who submits himself to Allah, Muslim, Aslama Yuslimu wa huwa Muslim, Ismu file from Aslama Yuslimu to submit oneself. Al Muslimu is the one. The Muslim is the one, Allah huh? So this is, I'm explaining again. I, it's good to revise it a little bit. So, Muslim, Muftada, Allah Khabar, Allah Khabar, Salima, to be safe, to be safe. This is the verb. And Muslimuna, the other Muslims, that is the file. Huh? This is the file. Salima, Al Muslimuna, the other, all Muslims are safe. Min Lisanihi, from the abuse of his tongue or criticism of his tongue or even uh, and, and uh, Necessary attack by his tongue, wa yadihi, and by his hand, wa yadihi. This is Rawahu Shaykhani. Shaykhani means Bukhari and Muslim. They have got this hadith mentioned in their books. So this is so very important. Now I again will say, Al Muslimu Muftida. Man, which is Ismu Mausula, Khabar, Muslim is the one who Allahji, huh? Salim al Muslimuna, Fiel, Fael, Min Lisanihi, Jar Majur, Father Mudaf Mudafilehi, Wa Yadihi, Min Yadihi, again, Jar Majur. And so this sentence. Salim al Muslimuna is coming after Allah Ji, so it has to be nothing but Silat al Mausul. So when you think about it, Alhamdulillah, it's very 
easy, not difficult to understand, but to, uh, to understand and enjoy it, inshallah. So, and then we did exercise. You can read it. We did this last week. Uh, now we are supposed to do here. We are supposed to do here. Exercise number two. Hmm? Al-ismu, the noun, is either definite or it is indefinite. That's it. Yeah? Well, marifatu, the definite, madalla alal. Ala mu'ayyinin. Mu'ayyinin is ismu maful. Ayyana yu'ayyinu to be specified. Is it specified? Is a noun that is specified. Al Marifatu, it points out to the noun which is specified. Ka, like Muhammadin, Anta, Aza, Kitab al Mudarisi, Wal Jamiati. Okay, did you get the idea? So, Al Muhammadin, this is Alam. Proper noun, Anta, Damir, Haza, Ismu, Shara, Kitabul Mudaris, Mudaf, Mudafilehi, Al Jamiatu, definite by Al, Wan Nakiratu, and indefinite, Ma Dalla Ala Gari Muayin. It is not specified to a particular person or thing. So, like, Karajalun, a man, a man, any man, in Kakitabin, any book, in but Jamiatin, any, any. See, the sign is that it has got Tanvin, like Rajulun, Kitabun, Jamiatun, these are all indefinite. Now we come to Aksa Mul Marifati. Now, this is very important to memorize. So there are seven. Four of them, you know very well. They are on the tip of your fingers. What are those four? All Damair, Damir. All Damair, Damir, like Anna, Anta, Huwa, Tao, Katabta, Ta, Ta, Katabta, Al Wao, Min Yaktabuna, they are all Damir. And we must never forget that every Damir is a definite noun. Yes, this is the first thing. Seven kinds of definite nouns. The first kind of definite noun is Damir. And that you should we remember always. We never forget that. And then the second one is proper name. Al Alamu means proper name. All names uh, they are definite. Ahmadu, Al Hindu, al Makkatu. See, I'm writing here. I'm saying Ahmadu because this comes as a mislu. Mudaf and Mudafilehi. So it is Ahmadu. Al Hindu, which is India, Makkatu, the city of Makkah, they are all proper names. They are definite. Number three, Ismu Ishara, like Haza, Zalika, Hazihi, Tilka, Wahaulai, they are all definite. Now we know that, huh? Alhamdulillah. And then Ismul Mausulu. See, here you have to again keep that in mind. You have to keep it in mind. Ismu al isharati, mudaf mudaf lehi. Not al ismu al isharatu. No. Ismu al isharati, mudaf mudaf lehi. And the number four is al ismu al mausulu, not manut. Al ismu al mausulu, not manut. Mislu al lazi, which is fixed. Al lazina, al lati. They are all definite, but they are they are all Ismul Mausulu, 
Vama, Vaman, all of them are, uh, and Vama and Man are Mosulotaini. They are two, another thing, you know. Fine. Now we come to number five. We did number one, two, three, four. One, Damir, proper name, Ismu Ishara, and Ismu Mausula. We know it. Huh? We have, we should have no difficulty in pointing it out what they are. Now we come to number five. Now this, I would request you to memorize it. And it's easy. Here's something, another point I want to stress. At home, you should say loudly, loudly to yourself, even to your family members. al muhalla bil al So if you say this few times, you will be able to say it fluently. I want you to become fluent. And that fluency will come when you say it loudly at home a few times. So al muhalla bil al means something is decorated with al. Muhalla means to be decorated. Al kitabu wa See, all al are coming. So we will say it is muhalla bil al. And then number six, another important thing. Al mudafun il al marifa. Al mudafu il al marifa. Mislu kitabuhu. See, we have here, I will write down here, kitabuhu wa kitabu hamidin wa kitabu haza wa talibun laji. That is the continuation of Talibul Laji and then Kitabul Mudarisi. They are definite because they are Mudaf to Marifa. They don't have Al to show they are mudaf. No. Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. If the mudaf ilayhi is marifa, the mudaf becomes automatically marifa. It doesn't need al. It doesn't need al. We know it. You have come across this so many times while you are writing. So we have to just memorize al mudafu el al marifa. Huh? So then mudaf ilayhi is marifa the mudaf becomes definite without al. And then, and then there's another point here. Amma, as far mudaf ila nakira, if something is mudaf to an indefinite noun, then it remains nakira. Then it remains nakira, like kitabu talibin. Now talibin is mudaf ilahi, it is indefinite, so this kitabu became indefinite. Kitabu became indefinite. And then here, wabaitu mudarisin, a house of a teacher, house of a teacher, a book of a talib, a student, any student, any teacher. So this thing we must remember, my brother and sister, I wrote down here, Number five, number six, and number seven, we should try to memorize. We should try to memorize these three. Uh, three, we, we should try to memorize these three, inshallah. Did you get the idea? Inshallah. Yes. I should have written these three. So remember, this is these, these three. So you have to memorize the wording of this so that you can specify it very fluently, inshallah. Muhalla bil al, al mudafu il al marifa. And the seventh one is. An-Nakiratu 
maksudatu bin nida. There is an indefinite noun, but if you put harfu nida, ya, in front of it, then it becomes definite. It becomes definite because of nida. Mislu, ya, rajulu. Now, rajulu is, is uh, definite. Well, ya, shaykhu. That is definite. Is a nadaita. This is nada, junadi, form three to call. Is a nadaita. If you call a man or a sheikh, huh? so then it becomes. Marifa. And Nakiratu Maksudatu bin Nidida, Mislu Ya Rajulun, O Ya Shaykhu, Ida Nadaita Rajulan, Wa Shaykhan, Muayinin. Muayinin means specified. We, we are calling that particular man, we don't know the name, so it is specified. Amma, as far as the Nakira, Gairu Maksudatil Nida, a nakira which is not specified by nida, fa nakira tu. Then it is nakira, it is not definite. Kakauli ama, this is a very good example, but not something we come across this. When a blind man who wants to cross the road at the corner of it, he might say, Ya Rajulan, so now you see here Rajulan. Huh? Not Rajulu, huh? because Ya Rajulu will make it definite. Ya Rajulun, it is indefinite. Khuz, take be yadi, take my hand to help me to cross the road. Ya Rajulun, huh? remember that. Then we are explained that, well, Marifatu, a Marifa, something is very, uh, it is definite, it's itself beforehand. Al Marifatu la Tatagayaru Tatagayaru Haluhu bin Nida. That Marifa does not change its position, its, its, its status by Nida. Nahu Ya Khalidu. No, Khalid is already definite. So that Ya did not make it definite. Ya Hada. That is also definite because Haza is definite, so Ya does not act any any way in it. Okay. Did you get the idea? Now we come to now. This is what I would like you to memorize. All of them you should memorize. Write it down on a piece of paper. Damir, Al Alam, Ismu Ishara. Ismul Mausula. Four we know already know. Then five, it's easy. Muhalla bil al, very easy. Muhalla bil al mean decorated with al. And then al mudafu il al marifa. If the mudaf ilayhi is marifa, then mudaf is marifa. And now then al mudafu il al nakira is nakira. Then here al nakira tu. Maksuda tu bin nida. Huh? Then indefinite noun becomes definite by ya, but then with only one tanbi. Shaykhun becomes ya shaykhu. Rajulun becomes ya rajulun. Huh? So, iza nadaita. So, this is from nada yunadi. Anta nadaita. If you call, anta nadaita. Remember. Anta nadaita, if you call uh, al muayyanin, al muayyanaini, because there are two names, so it is al muayyanaini, muayyanaini, specified, particular. This is the meaning of muayyanaini, specified, particular, clear cut, clear cut. So we did that also. Amma nakira tu gairu maksudatin bin nida fa nakira. Then it remains nakira.
wal ma'rifatu la tatagayyaru haluhu bin nida does not change his position it is already definite ya khalidu ya haza please remember i am trying to emphasize it so that you know we have to define any time we can do it and also i am preparing you one day to teach madina book better than me inshallah with your own innovations and on your techniques and with your own thoughts and knowledge you will one day teach the more you teach you will become strong and more strong and more strong as you carry out teaching now we come to exercise this we finish now we do these we try to uh, mention three examples of nakira mention three examples of nakira so i've already given hati salasata amsilatin lin nakira kitabun kalamun daftarun we know hati salasata amsilatin li kulli kismin min aksamil marifa now for this i have no time to write and also no place to write if i had a blackboard big blackboard i would have written it come earlier to the class and have written it but here i am requesting you what i am requesting you you check solution check solution about this so i will take you back to solution inshallah solution here so here we are here we just did this so this is okay there is a problem here i think something goes wrong and i lose uh, some of the words bismillahir rahmanir rahim solution book 3 No, it disappears. You know. Okay, this is a different thing. Solution. This. Yes, I think now it is better. So we did all that. Now here, see, mention three examples of each of the seven categories of marifa. So I I requested you to memorize. This is number one. Adamir, Ana, Anta, Hua. Write it down yourself, please. Al Alamu, proper noun. Ahmed, Pakistan. Shabanu, Shaban, month, month, Shaban, month. And then Ismu Ishara, Haza, Zalika, Hazihi. Ismu Mausula, Allazi, Allazina, Allati. Now, Mohalla Bil Al, remember Mohalla Bil Al, Al Kitabu. Al Rajulu, Al Masjidu, all are definite because of the Al. Al Mudafu ila Marifati, Mudaf ila Marifa. Kitabuhu, Kitabu Hamidin, Kitabu Haza. See, they are Mudaf to Marifa, so they are also definite. They are definite. An Nakira tu, Maksuda tu bin Nida. Ya Waladu, Ya Shaykhu. Ya Rajul, did you get the idea? Alhamdulillah. And then mention all the nakira nouns occurring in the main lesson. Now I am sure, while we are going through the main lesson, we did study all this. We did study all this. You can, when you revise the main lesson, just highlight them with the indefinite nouns. Eh? Indefinite nouns. Indefinite nouns can come. In a mudaf mudaf ilahi, then the mudaf ilahi will be indefinite. Huh? Inshallah. Now this is lesson number. No, this is exercise number four. So, so these are all. You should write it, 
and do it, brothers and sisters. For example, Al Mushtari Muhalla Bil Al Sahibul Mahali. I will write, maybe I can give here Sahibul Mahali. It is definite because Al Mudafu Ila Marifa. Al Mudafu Ila Marifa. Zalika Zaka is Mushara. Aza is Mushara. Ya Waladu. Al Nakiratu Maksudatu bin Nida Anta Damid Malikun Alamun Umaru Alamun Azihi Ismu Shara. These are all Halma Puris, my brother. You will enjoy it, but you have to write it, and then that will make it even more, you know, in your mind to understand. Here, Damid Al Muslimu Al Muslimuna Al Mohalla Bil Al. Haritatul Alimi Mola Al Mudaf Ila Marifa Mudaf Ila Marifa Al Laji Ismul Mosula Lisana Al Mudafu Ila Marifa Who is Marifa Lisan who His tongue Yadahu Mudaf Ila Marifa Al Al Khitabu Mohalla Bil Al Dafatiru Mohalla Bil Al Gelafuhu Mudafila Marifa Ashia Mohalla Bil Al. Did you get the idea? Shaykhani Mohalla Bil Al Ismi Al Mudafila Marifa Ismuka Al Mudafila Marifa Madrasatu Umar Mudafila Aula Mudafila Marifa Kimatuha Mudafila Mariva. Allahu Alam. Did you get the idea? I would like you to try it and do it, brothers and sisters. You will become strong, inshallah, and you will enjoy it. So, this is your, I, I'm pretty sure some of you must have already done it. So, we still have our Coronavirus is still very active around us. You, you see the numbers of coronavirus victims are increasing in, in uh, Ontario. So we got to protect ourselves. We have to stay home unless it is necessary to go out. If you have to work and go outside to work, yeah, well, that you have no choice. But when you go for grocery or other things, we should be careful, wear masks, protect ourselves, our children. So a lot of responsibility these days. Before, life was very carefully. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. We have to take precautions every single day in what we do and what our children do. So that is our life now, my brothers and sisters. Inshallah, Allah will protect us, guide us. Now we come to number five. Number five. Walada fi darsi ya waladu. Watch this. Ya waladu, ya maliku. Are you huma? Which of the two, iktasaba, obtain, gain, definiteness, bin nida? Who gained the definiteness? Who became definite with nida? Only Waladu, that's all. Why not Ya Maliku? Because Malik is already definite. So Ya did not make any difference to it. So that is what uh, it is to be answered like that. Huh? So, Ya Waladu, Li Annahu Nakhiratun, Waktasaba, it gained, obtained. Uh, became definite bin nida. Huh? Ya waladu became definite by nida. Wa amma malikun pahua marifatun asluh. Originally it is definite, so there's, the ya did not make any difference. Now here is a beautiful hadith. We haven't done it, so I think I will go and we do the hadith in the text, inshallah. So we did all of these. Now we come to the hadith. Ikra al-hadith, 
alati following wa ayyin ma fihi min nakirati wal marifi wa zikur naw naw kulli marifatin and describe uh, the the from where it is derived huh? read the following hadith point out nakira point out nakira and marifa occurring in it and this is here again it's missing from here and let me see what's there written i think this some, somehow my computer plays different kinds of tricks and specify that is the thing it is written here see here it, it just caught again maybe i should go back you get to bear with me brothers and sisters Yes, here it is properly mentioned, so I'll go back. Read the following hadith. No, we are in the main lesson now. Yes, read the following hadith, which is a very beautiful hadith, and point out the nakira and marifa nouns occurring in it, and specify the category of each of the marifas, yeah, categorized. So, you know those, how many categories we have learned? Seven. You know four by heart. Three are something that we have to do and understand it and become proficient in it. So, I have written here to facilitate. I cannot write more. So, number two, number two, Nakira, number five, number five, number six. I have written like that. So that should be interesting. See if you can remember, my brothers and sisters. I'll enlarge it. Huh? I'll enlarge it. Huh? So here is the hadith starting from An Anasi ibn al Malik. This is the narrator of the hadith. Huh? An Anasi ibn Malikin. An Rajulan. Sala Nabiyu Mata Saatu Ya Rasulallah Ya Rasulallah Mata Saatu When is the hour? What is the meaning of Mata Saatu? When is the day of judgment? Mata Saatu means when is the day of judgment? Ya Rasulallah Kala, Kala, he is answering and saying, Ma adatta laha, what have you prepared for it? Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking that person, Ma adatta, what have you prepared? You are asking about the sa, but what have you prepared for it? Have you prepared anything? So he says, very nicely, Kala, Ma, this is Nafi. Ma, uh, that too, I did not prepare for it. I did not prepare for it. Min kasir, kasir is salatin. From many salats. No, I have not prayed many salats. Wala song. I have not even fasted every time. Wala sadhikatin. And I have not given charity also. Wala kinnani. But, 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 I. I lakinani ohibu Allah. I love Allah. Wa Rasulahu. And his prophet. Kala. Rasul Salah Rasul replied. Anta ma man ababta. You are with those whom you love. Anta ma ma man ababta. You are with those you love. Now, let us see. I've done it. An Anasi. 
What is Anasi? Number two, my brother, what is number two? Al Alamu. Uh, now, you, if you write down on a, no, no, you, you know, number, the four of them, you know very well. Huh? Al Anasi is Al Alamu. The first one is Damir. Huh? Al Alamu. Because it is a proper name, so it is definite. Malikun huh? is also definite. Malikin, Malikin is definite. An Rajulan, now that is definitely in Nakira. Huh? An Rajulan, Sa'ala Nabiyu. Okay, by Nabiyu is definite. Why it is definite? Number five. Muhalla bil al. I've written the number. Muhalla bil al. Mata saatu. Again, saatu. When is the, the day of judgment? Saatu. Muhalla bil al. Ya Rasulallah. Now, now this is sixth. Al mudafu il al marifa. This is. This is. Mudaf il al marifa. So it became definite also. Kala, he replies, Ma adatta laha. So ta again, number one, and this I should have written number one also. Huh? So these are number one, Damir. Ma adatta laha. No, this is the question by Rasul Salah, and he replies. Ma adatu laha. Again, tu is damir, is a file for the verb. Okay, laha, same. Jar majur, so this is damir. Men kasarin salati, this is indefinite. Uh, I put here, brothers, two of two lines to make it clear. This is indefinite. So it is indefinite. It is indefinite. That's it. It is indefinite. Lakinna ni, 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 ni. What is ni? Damir. Huh? Ya mutakalim, Damir. Lakinna ni, ohibu Allah. What is this? This is al alamu, proper name. Wa rasulahu, number six. Why is rasula definite? So this is al mudafu. Ila Marifa. This Damir is Marifa. Huh? So that is why this is Marifa. So this is number six. Uh, number six, if you will inshallah remember. Uh, Al Mudafu Ila Marifa. This is Al Mudafu Ila Marifa. Inshallah. Kala Anta. What is Anta? Damir, number one. Ma man ahbabta, again, Damir number one. Did you get the idea? Inshallah. So this is what I wanted you to understand, memorize. Memorize, man. It will be fun to, uh, to, to analyze it and, and figure out, out of the seven, Forms of Marifa. There are only seven, not eight, not six, seven, and we should know it, inshallah. Four are easy, and number five is Al Muhalla Bil Al. Number six, Al Mudafu Il Al Marifa. Number seven, it is Al Mudafu Al Maksudatu. Al Mudafu Al Maksudatu. Maybe we should say, no, not mudafu. An nakiratu, sorry, I beg your pardon. An nakiratu, maksudatu bil nida. Huh? Huh? The, the indefinite noun is definite because it is being pointed out by nida. Huh? So try to memorize it, inshallah. It will be interesting. Now, number seven exercise. How well uh, change kulla nakiratin mimmayati ila marifa bi tarikatil maskurati amamaha. 
So change each of the following Nakira nouns to Marifa using the method mentioned in front of it. Sayaratun. What is the method? Belidafati. So Sayaratul Mudiri. Huh? See, Sayaratu became uh, Marifa because uh, it became Al Mudafu Ilal Marifati. Al Mudafu Ilal Marifati. Rasulu bit Tahiliatiha by decorating it Bil Al. Tahiliatiha, decorating it Bi Al. So it became Rasulu, Rasulun became a Rasulu. Did you get the idea? This is Rasulun became a Rasulu. This was properly. This was properly done. Al Ustazu. Huh? No, this is Ustazu. Now make it definite by Nida. Make it definite by Nida. So what you will say, what will you say, inshallah? Ya Ustazu. Huh? Ya Ustazu. Huh? And Nakiratu bin Nida. Maksudatu bin nida, because you are pointing it out by uh, calling, calling him. Fine. Now we come here to example of mudaf with marifa noun as mudaf ilay, and two example of mudaf with nakira noun as mudaf ilay. So he wants us. To to understand the number number six, al mudaf ila marifa, and this is nakira. So we have here example. I these are the example in hello tamarin also, but these are easy to follow. Number one, al kharitatu, al kharitu. I beg your pardon, kharitul ala alami. Kharitul Alami. The Kharita is, is the map. Map of the world of Islam. Kharitu Alami. Kharita tu. Khari, I beg your pardon. Kharita tu. Yeah, I'm saying it properly. Kharita tu, my brothers and sisters. Kharita tul Alamil Islami. So, this is your mudaf and this is your mudaf ilahi. So it is definite because of the al, al mudafu, al mudafu il al marifa. This is mudafu il al marifa. This is al mudafu il al marifa. And al islamiyu is a not for alim. And number two example is muka. Why is ka huh? and ismu is ismu is definite ismu ka. So again, this is al mudafu ila marifa. Ka is marifa, so it is al al mudafu ila al marifa. That is the reason. Now we come nakira. Oh, that's very easy. Aklamu hebrin. Fountain pens, hibir is ink. Huh? Fountain pens, jama, aklamu, hibrin. Huh? Fountain pens, huh? nakira. Kalamu rasasin, pencils, nakira. Uh, rasasin, hibrin. It's uh, still kalamu will not have al because it is mudaf. Aklamu will not have al, it is mudaf, ilehi, mudaf, mudaf, ilehi. So that is also. Nakira, Nakira. Now, now, another exercise. What is the exercise? Three examples. Three examples of Isam file. Give three examples. Huh? Think about yourself. I'm writing it here. You can copy it. I've said always, say repeatedly. There are 
people, students, there are teachers who don't like this because I have many schools come to the bookstores. I, when I was very regular there, I'm no, no more regular there. I seldom go. Even if I go, I go for a very short time. So brothers and sisters, those teachers, they when they look at the new Medina books, and when they see, hello, Tamari, no, 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 no. Hello, Tamari, no, we don't want to take this. You will spoil the children. I said to myself, I said, this course is not so easy that children will find all the answers by themselves. We got to give them little free hand and tell them you can check the hello tamarin and then write it down and then try to understand what you wrote it down no it doesn't sit with their planning huh? doesn't go with the i say if you don't give that help to the student of looking at the hello tamarin most of them or half of them will drop out with one thing common, commonly said by them. Arabic is too dif difficult. It's not, it is not my cup of tea. It is too difficult, too difficult. Now, I cannot understand. We got to avoid it that. That st statement, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my, uh, you know, I, I don't think I can ever learn Arabic. But if you encourage them to copy it, I hope you understand me, my brothers and sisters. If you encourage them to copy it and understand what they wrote it down, slowly, gradually, you know, it will dawn on them. And then they'll become more fluent. You want, we, I want the students to understand, huh? understand the main lesson. Huh? Exercise, you copy it. I, I don't mind. This has been my uh, method of teaching. Since day one, I encourage them to copy it. So here we have three examples of ISM file. So we have here, these are given here. Malikun, this is small file. Bakin, small file. Sahibun, small file. Okay, see this is Pailun, Pailun. But this is Bakin because the verb is Nakis. So here comes Malaka Yamliku Wahua Malik. And then this is Bakia Yabka Wahua Bakin, like Mashia Yamsha Wahua Mashin, Kada Yakadi Wahua Kadin. And then Sahib is Sahiba Yasabu, to give company to somebody. Sahibun. This is, we got it. Number Misalan Lin Nasbi Relationship, huh? this is relationship, Nasbi Al Islami You, yeah, see, this is the sign of its Nasbi, Islami You. Huh? Now, now we have here Yujra Tamrinani Shafiyani Alatini. The oral exercise is, is uh, being said. Yakulu kullu talibin li zamilihi atini kalamaka ati is a amar ata yati to give atini kalamaka kalamaka kitabaka atini kitabaka say loudly at home my brothers and sisters atini daftaraka or you can say to your son or even you can say to your wife atini Kalamaka, give me your pen, Atimi, Kitabaka, your book, your notebook. But when you say to your wife, make sure you say, Atimi Kalamaki. <laughs> you have to make it key. Did you get the idea? You have to say Kalamaki if you tell your wife or your daughter. Kitabaki, Daftaraki. Now here is. Each student says to the colleague next to him, give me your pen, book, notebook. 
يَكُلُّ كُلُّ طَالِبٍ لِزَمِيلِهِ مُشِيرًا إِلَى زَمِيلِ آخر So another colleague, student, then you will say, آتِي هِ Now before you said, آتِي نِ Now you will say, آتِي هِ Give him kitabaka, your book. آتِي هِ kitabaka. Did you get the idea? آتِي نِ Give me. آتِي هِ Give him. This is what. آتی ہی کتابہ کا دفترہ کا فائن میں بہتر سسٹرز ناو وات اس دیر ناو دیس ایسی لاسٹ ایکسرسائز ویل سٹارٹ دا نیو لیسن انشاءاللہ انشاءاللہ تعلم لرن تعلم یتعلم تعلم تعلم افعال الاتیت لرن دا فالوئی ورپس نادا جنادی فارم تری نادا جنادی فارم تری تو کال ویری نائس ورپ کمس ان دا قرآن منی ٹائمز نادا جنادی اور نادی اس دا امر 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 فرام جنادی سو ایف یو بیک امر فرام Rural, I will show you. Drop this and drop this. No, you don't have to put anything because you can pronounce it. Nad, Nadi. Call, Nadi means call. Dafai yatfau, that's easy. Uh, means to, one meaning is to push, Dafa. And other meaning is to pay. To pay. That is the meaning of it. How come it's it is used dafa to push. <laughs> I think in my own way, little jokingly, push your money out of your pocket. <laughs> push your money out of your pocket. Pay, pay, pay. Nafida, oh, this is very beautiful. Nafida yan fadu. Nafidat, nuskus hazal kitabi, see? Nafidat, no. Nafida yan fadu, to be exhausted, to be exhausted. So here you will say, Nafidat nusku hazal kitabi. So where is the file? Da, ta has come here. So where is the file? This is your file. Nusku, copies of this book. Copies of this book. Fill Maktabati library. The copies of this book it has, is, is run out. They are run out in the library. The library has run out the copies, copies of this book. This is very nice. But this comes in the Quran, you know. Walau kaan al-bahru midadalli malikalimati rabbi Lau kaan al-bahru midadalli kalimati rabbi Lanafid al-bahru Kablan tanfada kalimatu rabbi وَلَوْ جِيَنَا بِمِسْلِهِ مَدَدَ If all the oceans of the world were made ink and all the trees of the world were to be made into pen to write Allah's names or Allah's doings of things in the universe, your ink will dry out. And even if you put more ink to it, it will still dry out. But the doings or the names of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never dry out. He is beyond our estimation. So that's this, inshallah, very beautiful there. Now we come to Sallama Ashaya Lahu. So when Sallama comes, this is form two. When this form two comes, my brothers and sisters, then form two comes with harfujar, then means to give, to, to, to give. So salama shayya lahu means atahu, see atahu. We just say atini, so this is atayuti, iyahu, 
give that thing to him. Takulu salam tu daftara lil mudaris. You see, salam tu I gave. No, this is your gave. Salam tu daftara mafulun bi lil mudaris. I gave the notebook to the mudaris. Salama yusallimu lahu. Inshallah. Next one. Fahamma as far as Sallama alayhi. See? The harf char can change the meaning. Sallama lahu. No. Sallama alayhi. Fahamanahu. Kala lahu. Salamu alaykum. So that is Sallama alayhi. But kad arafta zalika min kablu. Alhamdulillah. Now. Now Sallima. Yaslamu, to be safe. Huh? To be safe. Salima, yaslamu. Ism file will be salim. Takulu, he said. No, you said. Takulu, you say. You say, means we all say. Takulu, in kalabat. This is from egg. In Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, in Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, in Kalabat, Sayara to who is car overturned? In Kalabat, Sayara to who is car overturned? But like in Nahu, but he is Salima, he is safe, Alhamdulillah. No harm came to him. No, as a fun. Fun part of it, my brother, in Kalaba, it comes from Kaliba. Or in Kalaba, form eight, huh? No, 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 no. Form seven, I beg your pardon. See, when in comes, then it is form seven. In Kalaba, I am asking you now, think about it. In Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, huh? make a master out of it. In Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, I'll give you a hint. In Fa'ala, Yan Fa'ilu, in Fi'alun, in Fi'alun. So, in Kalaba, Yan Kalibu, make a master. In Kilab, oh, <laughs> a revolution in Kilab. Uh, so that in Kilab, you hear all the time in radios and everywhere, it is in Kilab, in Kilab. Is a master from in Kalaba to overturn, yeah? to overturn the government and things like that, you know. Fine. So we got it that done. So we did that. Now here we have to make uh, we here we have to make dear brothers and sisters. Jama. Kisun is a bag, you know, plastic bag. What will be the jama? A kiasun. You have to copy it. Lavhatun is a plate on which something is written for decoration on walls. Lavhatun. Haritatun, this is the map. Okay. Haraitu. Haraitu. Gilafun is the cover on a book. Gulufun. Lisanun, the tongue. Alsinatun, like Ajvibatun. Asilatun. Al-Sinatun. Yadun, Aydin. Remember. And then when you put Alif Lam, al huh? Now, remember as much as you can. And if you don't, if you forget, please don't worry. They will come in the book and slowly, slowly it will enter our hard drive and stay there for good, inshallah. Now, this is the last exercise. Ma diddu fauka. Diddu means what is the opposite? Ma diddu means what is the opposite? Remember, diddu means opposite. Ma diddu fauka. What is the opposite of fauka? What is the opposite of fauka? Tahta. That's it. That is it. Alhamdulillah. We completed the lesson. It took us almost and and uh, 
almost an hour, little more than an hour, but I didn't want to do it fast. I want you to understand it, understand it. And this lesson number nine is so very beautiful and it is long. We might take two week, two sessions minimum, minimum two sessions. And I'm going to send you the recording of this. I was talking about those things earlier about my experience. You know that out of over 200 hours of recording that we did in 2006, Monday to Thursday, continuously without break, come rain, come snow, we were always there to, to do the dars. A lot of people come, came there. And now the thing is, at that time, I did not know what would be the outcome of this because I was myself a novice, beginner. I was a newcomer. I was a rookie in the field of teaching Arabic. I did not know. I had never taught Arabic in this way. How did it happen? I still wonder about it sometimes. But we did it. And then Brother Yusuf Jamal came into picture and he took over the DVDs and he, he put it on the internet in a, on our website also. But there was one defect. People used to complain, we cannot follow the continuity of the lecture. So then I requested. This only happened in the Zoom classes. Huh? In the beginning of the Zoom classes, as we come across more questions and more requests, so I said to Brother Yusuf Jamal, can you do something? Divide those 200 hours of lectures into small sections of uh, YouTube thing, small video of you uh, so that you can put on YouTube and also students can uh, download in their computer. Now you see the world has changed. World has changed completely. Nobody is buying DVDs. Nobody is buying discs. No, they are obsolete. We have thousands of dollars of DVDs of Medina books sitting in our warehouse. I don't know what to do. Eventually it will go in garbage, you know, because these days everything is on YouTube. So then it's so very easy. So Brother Yusuf Jamal worked very hard and made DVDs for each and every lesson of Madina book. Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless him and his family for putting this all together. Now it's easy. All you have to do it, just click on the lesson number and that particular lesson will come in front of you on your screen. I am myself watching it because I did not know what I had said at that time. So now, Alhamdulillah, I think they, they are very useful. So I will be sending you these uh, links also, and everything I'll be sending you with one request, brothers and sisters, if you already have it, do not complain. But delete it, because I have no way of knowing what I sent to the people. I got over 400 addresses in my computer where I can send with a click of a button to 50 people at a time. So I'm keep on, I'll keep on sending you the DVDs and the complete list of the DVDs. Keep that in your file. Maybe someday you want to revise it. You can revise it there. Open your book and have the DVD in front of you. You will be able to study. Now, this is the most beautiful way of studying, my brothers and sisters. Very beautiful way of studying. Unthinkable. 
unthinkable in the beginning, unthinkable. Uh, I, I cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercies in the form of all the technological advances which our life has seen in this last 10 years or so. So we have everything to revise. So if you feel like revising, just revise from those DVDs. Open your book and then go along with it. And even nowadays, there is a wonderful thing in uh, YouTube. I guess we have to buy the YouTube uh, permission, it's very little bit, $10 a month or so. So when you have that special facility from YouTube, so when you stop watching it, you don't have to worry because when you come back and start again, it will start where you left. All these facilities are there to save our time. Incredible. So you watch the DVD as much as you want to, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then, then shut off the computer. But if you have that uh, YouTube subscription, then when you open it, it will start from the same place to you and saves our time. Alhamdulillah, these are all there. So I will send you the DVD for lesson number nine and lesson number eight also. But lesson number time is incredible. Now we don't have much time, so I won't do more. I thought I will start and explain to you, but I'm going to read the lesson. And I'll tell you what it is that you are looking for in this lesson. Al Mudarris. Aina Kalamaya. What is this Aina Kalamaya? Have you ever thought about it? Huh? Very beautiful thing. So, this theme of this lesson is that when Musanna, when Musanna and Jama Muzakar Salim become Mudaf, then the noon is dropped. That is the only thing we have to understand. Again, I repeat, when the Musanna, for example, Kalamani, Kitabani, huh? so when they are made mudaf with mudaf ilayhi, mostly with damir or even proper noun, then that noon will go away. And the best thing is, I want to just mention it to you, brothers and sisters, you put a small noon there, huh? small noon there, You put a small noon there, Kalamaya, so there is a noon here. I cannot, with my pen, I cannot put a small noon. Yes, now I put a small noon here. I put a small noon here. Huh? Why I want you to do that? To make you remember that noon was there, it was dropped. Aina Kalamaya. So the, the question is, Aina Kalamani, where are the two pens? Whose two pens? You put Ya with it, then the noon has to go out. So then it became Kalamaya. Kalamaya. Why? The noon was dropped. And here also, Araitum kalamaya, this is this is mafulun bi kalamaini kalamaini. So that noon went away, so it became kalamai plus ya, and that made into kalamaya kalamaya kalamaya. These are the most important things, they are to be understood. 
and we will do it but there are so many so many many uh, what shall i say different different things to remember in this lesson i would like you to check it out and then then inshallah you will let's me let me see here key is this the lesson lesson 8 we have done it now we come to lesson set 9 i will read this but this is better to give you an a, 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 little idea my brothers and sisters in this lesson we learn the omission of noon of dual and sound masculine plural you have seen in book one that a noun loses its tanween when it becomes mudaf kitabu hamidin kitabun was kitabun became kitabu now i i want to tell you something more also very interesting Fascinating. I was very fascinated by. It. So kitabun. Huh? Bun bun. What is kitabun? I'm writing it now. Look at it, brothers and sisters. Look at this. Some of you must have must remember kita. What did I write down? Kitabun. <laughs> Kitabun. So now we change that 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 noun from here. We change that noun from here and give a tanvin. Did you get the idea? So then, when you say kitabu hamidin, so that noon that thing that we dropped is dropped now. When you drop one tanvin. When you drop one tanwin, uh, that noon will get dropped when you make it mudaf. So this we have been doing it since book one. Kitabu Hamidin. So it was Kitabun Hamidin. Uh, see. Kitabu Hamidin, Kitabu, fine. In the way, in the same way, the noon of the dual and sound masculine. Plural is omitted when they happen to be mudaf, you know. I see Aina Bintani. Remember this Aina Bintani. Now here it is Aina Binta Bilalin. So Bintani became Binta. Did you get the idea? That's all you have to understand and remember. Raitu bin Raitu Bintani. I, I, I should start from here. Next time I will start from Aina Bintaini. Raitu Bintaini. Raitu Bintaini. Now what will you say? Raitu Bintai Bilalin. Noon dropped. Noon got dropped. I saw Bilal's two daughters. Abhasu Anal Bintaini. I'm looking for two daughters. So you will say Abhasu in Bintai. Bintai Bilalin. You see? So Bintani, Bintaini, Bintaini, always remember. Bintani, Tani, Taini, Taini. Taini will come twice, one for Mansu, one for Majroor. Now, Ja al Mudarisu. Huh? So you will say, Ja al Mudarisu Hadisi. Noon just got rough. So this is what I want you to write down uh, here in a place that noon got dropped in a tiny way just to remind you inshallah so now then what else is there saltu mudarisina saltu mudarisina i asked the teachers so here you'll say saltu mudarisil hadisi mudarisil mudarisil hadisi again the new noon got dropped from here Noon got dropped from here. Salam to Alal Mudarisina. So here 
brothers and sisters, here this is Mafulun Bihi. Saltu Mudarisina Hadisi. Here Salamtu Alal Mudirisi Mudarisina. This is Alal Mudarisina is Majrul. So I say Salamtu Alal Mudarisil Hadisi. I said Salam Alaikum or I greeted the teachers of Hadith. Did you get the idea? Now the next one, very interesting. So many. <laughs> Incredible, incredible, my brother and sister. Now we know Haza. We have learned also Hazani. Huh? And Allati became no Hazani and then Hatani. Hazani, Hatani. Hazihi became Hatani, I swear. Not Allati, not yet. Not yet. Hazihi became. Haji became Hatani. Now this will come. So this is very interesting. Hazani Masjidani. See? Hazani Masjidani. Hatani Madrasatani. Madrasatani Hatani Mazata. Now we learn the duel of Zalika. <laughs> Zanika. Zanika, Tilka, Tanika, all these things are new. Hazani, Mudarisani, Vazanika, Talibani, huh? and then Hatani, Tabibatani, Vatanika, Mumaritani, Mumarida, Mumaridatani, Mumaridatani. Did you get the idea? All these things are coming. Very interesting. So I'll send you the DVD, the lesson, huh? inshallah, and then you will, you will work on it to, to just as much as you can. You will enjoy it. That is, that is my assurance to you. I can say even that is my promise to you. So you will enjoy it and you will learn a lot, a lot. Now, brothers and sisters, more announcement now. From today, we are going to finish our class at 4 o'clock. Why? Because, see, our time is 4.30, but 4.15 is the Azan of the Asar prayer. And I don't like to, to continue class when the Azan is going on and it's not fair. I, I, I'm not comfortable. So now, for the next few weeks, we will have our class ending at four o'clock. So it will be from up to four o'clock. But again, I'm changing the time. Please remember, I'm changing the time. Our class starts at two o'clock. Our class starts at 2.30. We'll start at two to four from next time for a few weeks. Not, not always, few weeks only. Two to four will be our class from next time onwards. Till November 7th. November 7th is Sunday. The clock will go backward one hour. Then we have to again change the time. I'll let you know the timings by email. Please be careful, you know. So November 7th, we'll change the timing. Maybe it will be one, two, three. One, two, three, now it is two to four, it will become one, two, three. And so inshallah, we'll, uh, we'll do that way inshallah. So next week, we are meeting at two o'clock. We class will start at two o'clock, huh? two to four, two to four next week. Not tomorrow, tomorrow is still same. They have, they, I have to announce them these things. Also, we have, uh, we have a request. I have a request, my brothers and sisters. I would like you, myself, and you all to pray for my dear brother, Ali Sayani, who was our student. The, the, he's the father of our student, Saima Sayani. He's not well. Huh? He fell down and has hurt He's back. He's in pain in Sunnybrook Hospital. 
please pray for him we all pray ya allah have mercy on him cure him from his illness and restore his health and grant him excellent health and remove his pain and suffering which is he undergoing now inshallah amin ya rabbal alamin so that's it my brothers and sisters let us make the final dua rabbana no we say here may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your sacrifice of time to study and understand the arabic language as a hasanat in your scales of good deeds may allah bless you all your spouses your children with excellent health barakats in your risks in your jobs in your businesses in your careers in your professions in your education if you are a student and the education of your children may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a strong memory and deep knowledge of arabic to understand in depth the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can all feel the miracle of quran in our hearts may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the light of the quran and instill this light in our children may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all safe and protected from the evil of this virus may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the muslim umma all around the world wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the humanity at large from the evil of this virus see you next saturday the class will start at 2 o'clock please remember 2 to 4 next saturday keep safe stay healthy wear mask when you go out and observe physical distancing and the guidelines of the health authorities rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab an-nar rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zurriyatina qurrata ayun waj'alna lil muttaqina imama rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim وتوب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته